Hello everybody, it's me, Pierre, AKA Nina Bonina Brown. And I don't know why I'm really having this talk, but I just feel like I need to have this talk. Um, getting a little emotional now. When do you know when to give up? When do you know when When do you know when some things just maybe aren't for you? You know, people tell you, you know, to not give up and to believe in yourself. And then when you believe in yourself, Sorry. And then things, and when things don't go the way that you hope and you pray, and I try to have faith in God and I try to pray and I pray for the things I want and it doesn't happen. You're not gonna always get things Everything isn't for you, but when do you know when something is not for you? You know, yes, you know, I do makeup and I, I do drag. In my heart, in my mind, and maybe the mind can play tricks on you. In my mind, especially when I was younger, I used to think, oh, I could model. I could act. I used to want to sing. But I realized I'm not really, a, really a, a good singer. But I used to want to model. I used to want to act. And um, those things that I've tried have never worked out for me. I used to start off drawing. I used to draw all the time. Sorry if I'm just talking and just going from thing, subject to subject. But I used to draw. Um, and then drawing led to makeup and then makeup led to drag. And I used to always have a drag in my head. I used to always see myself as this person, because when you do drag, you get, you get to be that superstar that you see in your head. You get to be that person who you see in your head. You get to be that actor or actress. You get to be that singer. You get to be whatever you choose to be for that moment. And I feel in my heart that I can do things but then when I try to present it to the real world the real world tells me that I can't that I can't and I for a while you know I, I auditioned for Drag Race a lot you know and I'm like do they not like me do they not see it for me what am I doing wrong you know and it happened but it took a lot of tries and I know people say you have to crawl before you walk you have to keep on trying but how long do I have to crawl my knees are hurting. You know, I don't know what else to do. And then you see, you know, they say it's not good to look at other people's blessings and what's for them is for them and what is for you is for you. But it's when you're human, it's not hard to notice that Sally is doing what I'm doing, but for some reason, Sally, Sally's doing better. You know, and you may even be more talented than these people, but for some reason, it's like the universe is set up to just let only certain people succeed and certain people fail. And the reason why I'm making this video now is because um, something seemed like it was for me. It felt like it was for me. I got introduced with a role for a, a show, DC Comics. Y'all know DC Comics is big. So I'm like, what? They looking for me, Nina Bonina Brown? And I know all of y'all seen Drag Race, you see, 9021 Ho, and that's not me. I act all the time, especially when I'm making my little parodies and doing my videos, I act all the time. But it's more comfortable because I'm around my close-knit fans who really support me and they make me believe that I can do it. So when, I'm, when, when I was on Drag Race and I thought I was doing something okay, but then people were like, can you talk this way? Can you do this? And I'm like, I talk fast. It's just who I am. 
So I started getting in my head like, okay, they don't see it for me. So I gave up. But anyway, these people reached out to me and the role, I, you know, I don't want to give too much away, but basically I was going to be playing a gay character, of course, which that's another thing. When I do acting, I don't want to just play the gay sidekick, but it was a gay character who was drag, but also a kind of like straight acting guy. And I'm like, okay, I can probably pull this off. And, you know, I get the role and I don't know how this works for my fellow actors out there or actress, actresses. Um, when you get auditions from, um, get scripts from people, do they tell you or give you a breakdown of the character? Because I didn't really have a breakdown of like how I'm supposed to feel, what is my mood, how do I feel, how do I act? So I just kind of just did my own thing. And um, that didn't, I guess it wasn't good enough. I couldn't even get, you know, all they said was, you know, after we had to reach out to them, was we gave the role to somebody in LA. Probably Shea kool <laughs> I know I'm joking right now, but I'm really like going through it. Um, and I'm just like, damn, I couldn't even play a gay man, a drag queen, wh 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 which is what I am. And so it makes me feel like, was I not good? Was I horrible? Cause I'm sure there, I'm sure there are many of good actors who get turned down all the time because they don't fit that role. But in my mind, when it's my first time really doing an audition like that, I'm like, damn, am I bad? Like, do I just give up? Do I just do I just is that just a dream that I'm that I'm living? I'm I'm living a dream. Is that not my calling? In my heart, I feel like it is, but is it really not my calling? You know. You know, I'm a big Disney fan. I love Disney. But I feel like as a child, I really believe too much. I really believe in this, you know, once you wish upon a star, you know, that kind of, and I really believe that you can make things happen if you believe and you pray and it hasn't been for me. And I just feel like, I know that there are people that are going through worse things in life right now, worse than me, worse than trying to be an actor or a model, whatever people who are starving, but all I can do is think about my life because I'm living my life. If I was God and I had the power, I would snap my finger and people would be okay. But that's not how it is. So I can just think about my own struggles of what I'm going through. And um, I'm just in a place now where I don't know what to do. You know, I continually try to put out work for my fans, try to put out different things that barely get noticed, barely gets recognition. You know, um, you look at other people who are doing the same thing you're doing, they have more followers, more likes, more comments. Those things shouldn't matter, but they kind of matter when you're in this industry. Um, and I just wonder like, what does God have against me? What does the universe have against me? Was I horrible in another lifetime? And then it just feels so bad when you let the haters know, the haters who already doubt you when they win. And they win. And you know, and I, I, when I told my mom about the audition, I was like, I'm so excited. I'm gonna make her proud. My thing is to make them proud. They don't care about this kind of stuff, but I care because I wanna make it for them. I wanna be able to make it in life and have money and be like, go travel, go do this. And when I didn't get the role, it was just like, I let my mom down again. I'm always letting somebody down, letting myself down. So y'all know I suffer from depression. Depression is a real thing. I know a lot of y'all out there are depressed in the world, but it's a real thing. You know, people want me to do all stars. I don't know if I can do all stars, all stars. I don't know if I can do all stars. Especially with how things are kind of are on all stars with just how it's running. I, I don't know if I can handle that. I don't know if it's for me. I don't, I don't know. Cause I, I don't know. I can't take any more no's. I can't take any more no's or I don't know what may happen to me. I may just give up, I, like seriously. But I just thought I should make this video cause I was kind of just really going through it and just, but anyway, I would like to hear you guys' stories of your depression, things that you've been through. When do you give up? Do you keep trying? Or do you say, you know what, it's not for me. How do you know when it's not for you? How do you know? How do you know? It's just, I don't know. But anyway, um, I feel a little embarrassed that I cried and all this stuff, but 
I just had to get this off my chest and I wanted to be real and just say what I've been going through. And, um, and I've got to the point where I don't even want to pray for myself anymore. I know I don't want to pray cause I don't want to, I want to believe in God and I don't want to get to the point where I keep praying for things and it doesn't happen. And then I'd be like, God, where are you? And then I start, then I stop believing and I don't want that to happen. So now I just pray for other people and I wish all of y'all good success in what y'all are doing in life. And I wish that everybody who has dreams, it comes true for you. Keep trying. Don't try to give up like I have or like I feel like doing. Keep pushing. Um, and anyway, as always, remember to stay beat, stay beautiful and stay blessed. And um, happy holidays to all of you. Bye.